and welcome to this match preview of Leeds United taking on Birmingham City this Tuesday at Ellens Road. Main important match for both teams involved and this preview is mainly going to be Leeds orientated but there will be some Birmingham information and a bit about how Birmingham are going to play so if you are a Birmingham fan you can stick around for that. Uh, quickly though before I get into the video I need to give a shout out to uh, Louis Plays. His link will be in the description and he'll have an end card at the end so you know, just go uh, subscribe to him if you like his content. So, uh, yeah, we're there. Let's get in with the video. So, starting off with the Leeds United lineup, it's pretty much going to be the same lineup as you know, you, you'd expect um, after uh, five clean sheets in a row, three wins in a row. Um, the only change that could be Roman Anita is going, looks like it's going to be okay, but could be rested after that uh, minor injury he picked up in the uh, Burton game where he was subbed off at half time. And in that case, you'd imagine Gerardi would come in as he appears to be fit. Pennington probably won't be, but Gerardi will be. So you'd imagine Gerardi would come in. If not, uh, probably Cameron Bossy Jackson. Um, and the soccer may not be available because his wife is having a baby and uh, it is in Germany. It's possible that. Well, I mean, I imagine Leeds will give him the day off, give him the day in Germany, um, and he'll be back. Uh, for the Millwall game this Saturday. So the Saga may not be playing, he may be. That information has not come out at the time of doing his preview and probably won't come out uh, until, his, until his game. Even though his baby, he still doesn't have a child, so we know that. He may be in Germany for the child's birth. Uh, if the Saga isn't playing, you'd imagine Ruth would go up front and Alioski would go on the left. I understand we have Sabitsky, I understand we have Jay Roy Watt, but honestly, Ruth's in good form. I want to fit Alioski in somewhere. So let's play Roof. If we aren't gonna, if we are playing the Saga, I still would put Alioski in. I'd actually put him ahead of Hernandez. Although Hernandez was debatably man of the match against Burton in that 5 0 win. Last season, he struggled a bit after being played constantly. I think he'll need a vest, his aging legs. And really, although you could debate Hernandez shouldn't, doesn't deserve to be dropped, neither does Alioski be, really, considering that he's been one of our best players up until this point. I was only dropped in order to. Um, in order of fitness reasons. Other than that, I don't really see many other changes happening. I could see Christensen swapping around a bit in midfield just because he likes rotation. But otherwise, I think it's the same lineup and yeah, I'm um, strong lineup. In terms of how the match is going to go out, I think Leeds' main issues are going to be down the wings. But I'm being very strong in that area. They've got uh, Hoss Gotter, who, um, although I think we're playing in a striker role, does like to uh, go out and um, you know, just, just, just wide. And it was the first real test because Le uh, Birmingham's wings are very, very pacey. Very skillful, and although we got both big, um, good fullbacks in Ailing and Radi or Anita or Wolf Jackson, whoever plays in the game, it may be that they have to stay back a bit more, otherwise, they may get caught on the counter. Likewise, though, I also feel this will be a problem for Birmingham. Um, Leeds have incredible wingers at the moment, whether Alioski plays, whether Sires plays on the left, you know, we're switching with Hernandez, Roof, whoever it is, they're very, you know, they're very quick. Uh, they've been causing Birmingham a lot of problems and now we have a target man to aim for in the box I think we could be absolutely deadly in terms of Birmingham it's kind of hard to say how this game's going to go because on paper they are clearly one of the best teams in this division uh, they played at Che Adams as I say you know already mentioned Jota, Jota. Um, it's really hard to say you know because eventually surely eventually they're going to hit the form going to the height that they were meant to when that game is going to come I don't know but I just don't see why over the space of three days their form is going to improve in any way. In terms of Leeds, I feel like they could take this victory too easy. I hope Christensen is constantly putting in the fact that Birmingham are a good side on paper and are you know, they're a good side. We need to definitely um, be 100% focused, not focused on, you know, not thinking about the Birmingham, Bur uh, Burton game. That was, you know, which happened a few days ago. Got very, got very for this game. And I actually reckon Leeds United are going to win this game. But I also reckon that they're going to concede. I reckon Birmingham are going to be the team to breach the Leeds United defence, but I reckon Leeds will get two, and I think I'm going for a 2 1 Leeds United win. What's your opinion? Uh, put your score prediction in the comments below. Also, put out what you think of the match, who you support. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. We are one subscriber off 300 at the time of recording this. One subscriber. So, uh, yeah, please, please be that subscriber who subscribes. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.